Hello guys and welcome to Bip King Gaming. I'm the Bip King and today we're going to be playing some more Terraria. And uh, yeah, I think today's mission is going to be to uh, to kill the Ike of Fubu, or at least uh, get started on this project. So we are going to run into the night and we're going to try and see if we can find ourselves some of these uh, demon eyes flying around. Um, I can hear some zombies. We can hear zombies, but um, I don't hear uh, or see any... Oh, uh, here they are. Come on. Get out of here, you. This is my house. Uh, yeah, we... Where are these demon eyes? Why are they so hard to find? Where are you? Oh, here's one. Give me a lens. Give me a lens. Give me... And he gave me a lens. Cheers, bro. Appreciate it. Okay, well, he went swimming. Um, yeah, I hope it's uh, not too dark for you guys. Let's, let's run with the torch. Let's uh, let's make sure you guys can see. Let's do double jump. Nailed it. I uh, I really enjoy having this cloud in the bottle. It's um, it certainly makes traveling around the world a lot easier. Even if you like fall from long distance, you're just like eh, pop. You just pop that smoke again. Oh, I can. What's this zombie Eskimo? What? First time I've seen one of them. What's, what's that? Silver thorn. I'm not sure what that's for, but um, I'm sure we can do some research into what that is all about. Uh, oh, oh, hello, demon eye. Oh, and another one. Thank you, sirs. Uh, didn't get a lens from that one by the looks of it, but uh, it looks like there's more and more of them coming now, which is good because uh, I need ten lenses. I think we're up to three. Get out of here. There we go. Uh, did we get any more of there? Oh, we're up to five. Sweet. So we're going to jump over this guy. We're going to take him from behind. Hop, hop. Tap, 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 tap. Now that. Uh, and yeah, we want to find some more of these, uh, some more of these eyes. Um, I really want to get up. Oh, we fell. Oh, and another eye. Thank you, sir. Come here. Ah. Ah. Nailed it. Oh, nailed it. Oh, nailed it. Oh, oh, we are long shotting these guys. I like it. I like it. Do we get any lenses out of that? Mm, doesn't look like it. Nope. But I am sure we will find other stuff. But um, what we also need to do to uh, actually get anything out of this is um, we need to find demon altars. Uh, so we're going to try and head. This is really hard without being able to see anything. Um, we are gonna try and head over and see if we can find the crimson layer. What is this guy with the green eye? Can we long shot this guy? Nope. Yeah, we got him. Did we get a lens? We didn't get a lens. Oh, but there's a jar in here. We'll get that. Uh, yeah. Die. This guy's gonna fall on my head. Um. Did we? Did he drop? Come on, we need these lenses. That's what we really need. Oh! Snuck up behind me. Well, not behind me, but... Ah. Come on! Ah, it's having to focus. Gotta focus to get these guys. Right! So, we need to get back up there. Looks like there's another eye there. Oh, we hit him! God, I am on fire! Got that one. We need these. Uh, we need to get some more lenses. I think we we're on six now. So that's summon. Go kill that guy. I really want to get up here because, like I said, we need to get up to the crimson layer or over to the crimson layer. And I'm hoping that we'll find some in this direction. Uh, here's another guy. Tell you what, I think it's actually going to be easier uh, on a both trying to get over. Um, this hill, but um, I think it's going to be easier if we just dig through here. So we're going to dig through here, and um, yeah, while I do this, I want to give take an opportunity to tell you guys about um, about a new series that I'm working on. Um, I'm not quite sure when the series is going to be ready, it's still very much in the planning phases, um, but I am going to do a series that focuses on the philosophy of games. Um, and what I mean by the philosophy of games is kind of twofold. Uh, I'm both going to cover how games, um, or how we interact with games, and how we relate to games, um, and the kind of the philosophies that sit behind it. And um, 
Then I'm also going to uh, have a part of the video which is about how the kind of philosophy is in the world of the game. So kind of like, for example, in this one, the world that uh, Terraria set in with zombies and all this kind of thing. And kind of the philosophies that come into play when uh, when you have to live in a world like this. Um, and yeah, and then like I said, um, another part of the videos will be how you bros or how we as gamers um, think and feel. Uh, or not so much feel, but um, how, how games kind of can make us think about things and how the kind of actions we take in games... Uh, how they relate to real life um, and I think that'll be quite a fun series uh, because philosophy is a big passion of mine uh, I really enjoy it and it's kind of what I want to really focus on with my life is philosophy um, but of course there's no money in it so YouTube is my uh, my last hope um, that and uh, writing a book maybe someday uh, that would be nice uh, but for now we're just gonna focus on um, uh, yeah, some uh, so, uh, the kind of the philosophy of games. So I think I got that message out clear enough, um, which is kind of hard to explain. Uh, kind of upcoming projects like this. Oh god, this while I've got just things all over me. I have never actually been in the crimson world or the crimson biome, so this is going to be interesting. It's already pretty intense. Um, <laughs> What we can try and do is find the demon altar while we um while we wait for the next night to come around. Are there really no more demon eyes? Come on, come on, guys! Come on! Send this guy at me with an umbrella. You can do that, but you can't send me no goddamn demon eyes. So we're gonna jump up here. Uh, yeah, we knew it the first time. I'm I'm very happy with that. So what else can we find? The I think we're gonna go into the crimson air. Let's let's actually just see if there's something down here. This looks like it goes down into something. Uh, does it go down into crimson air, or does it kind of stay down in this area? Uh, snow biome, should I say? Uh, anything? Well, that's. I don't actually know what that is. Oh, is it these guys? Face monster. Are these guys making that noise? Guys, if I'm missing something, if there's something down there that I should be uh, going after because of that kind of monster noise that we're hearing there, then uh, let me know because it certainly sounds interesting. That's a lot of water over here. Some spiders. Got more of these guys here. Yeah. Ooh. Vertebrae. Interesting. Let's put some lights up in here. It's quite dark. Uh, is there anything in here? Does it go anywhere? Doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Oh, but there is a chest. What have we got? Uh, glow sticks. Yeehaw. We like ourselves some glow sticks. Uh, we might as well take that. And let's go to the spider. Whoa, he is all over the place. So that's that one. Yeah, I think it's these face guys because um, there's another one here and this noise has started again. So I'm guessing it's the face guys that are making that crazy noise. What's this here? Is that just like... That's like unminable. Interesting. Very, very interesting. They got another spider coming down here. So let's kill him. And you are dead. Uh, what have we got in here? Okay, so we've got a cave, uh, and this is ultimately what we want. I am going to try to find a demon altar. Uh, and this is my first time in the, in Crimson... Uh, what's it called? Oh, there's a Crimson altar. That's not quite the one we want. We want a demon altar. There's another Crimson altar. But I found Crimson altars down in the thing. Uh, maybe Crimson altars... Am I... Guys, am I being stupid? Can I use the Crimson Altars uh, in the same way? Because if, if, if that's the case, then, I mean, I've got that over in the uh, 
in the other cave over by the antlions. So, um, we, I mean, we got loads here. So maybe that's all I'm going to find in this world. Uh, so, yeah. Maybe you guys can correct me on that. I'm guessing that the demon altars are for the corruption worlds and crimson... Well, are for the crimson world. Oh, we are out. We are out of... Um, we're out of torches. But uh, I think while we're here, uh, and while it's still daytime outside, I think we're going to have a little look. See what's down here. Let's make this stuff interesting. There are a lot of spiders. A lot of spiders. Coming up me. They're coming up me. I am your boss. Kneel before me. Kneel before me. That, whoa. You put my ass in the end. Uh, okay, so there's a big room here. Hmm. Is this a room that I want to drop into? I want to get rid of these guys first, because at least then we can we can drop a rope down and uh, oh, we got a flyer, got a fly guy. Gotcha. Uh, and I really want to get down there. Oh, these actually hit pretty hard, considering they're just little spiders. Die. Uh, gonna drop down here. This guy's been stuck underneath that for a long time. There we are. Uh, and then I want to put rope here. Oh, that could just hang there, so that's good. Uh, oh. oh, see, that's why I love the cloud in the bottle. Just a little poof, and I was where I wanted to be. So we're going to pop some of the... Oh, oh that was close. Um, I'm gonna, are there some kind of boss down here? What are these? Everything about this says danger. Like, I'm looking at this, uh, and nothing about this says that is a good idea to touch it. So I'm going to touch it. I can't touch it, because it's in there. So I really can't seem to do anything here. But uh, seeing as all I'm finding here uh, are the altars that are exactly the same as um, down the other one, I'm actually going to teleport back. And, um, yeah, I really, I want to find, oh, we've, had, we've got ten. Oh, well, we should just have done it while we were there. God damn it. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to run down this way. Uh, we're going to try and uh, try and see if we can find our little crimson altar down here. Okay, guys, so we're down here now. We've got the crimson altars. And, uh, yeah, let's see. So I'm guessing if I stand here, then I can craft it like... Ah, there we go. Up one. And we got it. Achievement complete. Like a boss. Sweet. Okay, so now what we need is to go back to the house and what I from what I gather is it's a lot easier to fight this guy if we put up some platforms. So that is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna build we can take this and we're gonna go up like that and then we're gonna go that um tell you what i think we're gonna montage this uh because this will be a very short one so enjoy <music> okay guys so we're back here now it's starting to turn night so I think we should be getting the Eye of Cthulhu come at any moment, uh, unless I have to summon him. Uh, and if I do want to summon him, then I just want to equip these guys. Um, and yes, do I put this up here like this? Okay, guys, so we've uh, we've managed to summon the Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, turns out that you simply use the Eye like a potion. Wasn't really something that I uh, I expected it was going to be like, but um, hey, we're, we're, we're off. We're off. We're fighting the Eye of Cthulhu, and uh, yeah, everything uh, everything everything's going so far. I'm just going to keep firing at him with this. My, uh, my little cannon here should be... Uh, oh, oh, he came... Ah! Didn't go as I had... Uh, as I planned. Ah. 
So I, I heard that these were supposed to be the best ones to kind of kill him. And yeah, they seem to they seem to be doing a, a lot. Gotta get some health. Like that. Oh god. There we are. I actually, I actually think I prefer the, um, cause I, I can, with this one I can shoot the eyes as they come out as well, which is pretty, pretty useful. He's already half on health, or ha halfway down, so yeah, we're, we're, we're doing alright here, guys. Oh no, he's looking, he's, he's, tu oh god, he's turning mad. He, he's so ugly. Yeah, you ain't gonna get me. Uh, let's go with these guys again. Oh, he got me that time. Oh, he got me that time again. Oh, we can actually pick these these ones up again. Oh, such good weapons. Oh, I don't know why I decided to jump up at him. Oh, oh come on, he's nearly dead. He's nearly dead. Oh yeah! Oh, Crimtain Ore! 76 Crimtain Ore! My Jesus Lord! He has come again! <sighs> we did it, guys! We set out to do something, and we did it. So, yeah. This was a very successful episode. Uh, we did exactly what I wanted to uh, achieve in this episode which i am extremely happy about the eye cthulhu was summoned we learned a lot we did a lot uh, and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as i did because this was fun uh we're definitely going to be uh going out there to uh, get ourselves some more boss kills and yeah we are also going to look at what this crimson ore can do for us but all of that guys is for the next episode I think we might have run a little bit over that 15 minute mark, or we might not, we'll, uh, we'll have to see. But thank you so much for watching, as always guys, please hit that like button, hit that sub button, it really helps me out, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!